Hello, and thank you for listening to this tutorial on cash flow statement, or the statement of cash flows, also known as the statement of change in financial position. Um, the statement of cash flows is probably one of the least discussed of the financial statements, the three standard financial statements, the profit and loss, balance sheet, um, and then the statement of cash flows. Um, but it should be. It should be included in that discussion um, as often as the profit and loss and balance sheet are. But basically what the statement of cash flows does is gives you a snapshot of your company's cash activity for a specific period of time. In this example, it's from October 2017 to December 15, 2017. Um, um, most um, statement of cash flows are broken broken out into three separate categories operating activities which is your cash the change in your company's cash position from um, your um, operating activities customer um, activity or supplier payments um, and this is your financing activities um, issuing any stock, paying dividends, and borrows, or repayments of loans. Um, and what's not shown here is there's no investing activity, but investing, investing activities is another um, section that's typically in your statement of cash flows, and that's um, the purchase of sale of any non-current, um, certain non-current assets, um, the purchase of any uh, certain securities and um, sales or purchases made on a uh, plant um, and equipment um, assets. Um, basically, the statement of cash flows starts off with your net income number um, and then goes through your balance sheet because your net income obviously is derived from your revenue and expenses. Um, then goes through your balance sheet and adds or subtracts based on the activity in the balance sheet, the, the balance sheet, any cash related um, transactions. So for example here there's um, an accounts receivable which is a subtraction um, and the reason that's a subtraction this is actually an increase in your accounts receivable. An increase in your accounts receivable um, basically because you have not collected that cash but yet your revenue is reflected in the net income number but the cash um, is has not so you want to back that out of your net income number and that's the same for most assets and Conversely to liabilities, this is actually uh, your accounts payable line here. This is an um, increase in your accounts payable, um, meaning you have not spent the the cash yet, but it's the um, the uh, expense is reflected in this net income number. Um, I don't know if I said expense or not in the accounts receivable number, but that's a that's a obviously your income is reflected in the fr in the net income number um, from your accounts receivable. But it goes through the balance sheet items um, and then adds or subtracts the cash activity for that given period. So these do not include previous balances. So this is only this accounts receivable increase is only for the activity from October in this example to December 15th. Um, so it's only for a specific, a specified period of time. And then the same down here in your financing activities. So. Then that gets you a net cash increase or decrease for the period. In this case, it's a decrease. And basically what happens is that the cash at the beginning of the period, um, plus or minus the cash increase or decrease for the period, and that will give you a cash at the end of the period. So the change in your cash position, position for your company for this period of time, in this case, was $21,000. And then your cash at the end of the period is 105. At the beginning of the period was 126,000. So, hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you. Bye.